Big funding source is going away for Iowa schools. Federal pandemic aid pumped nearly $2 billion into schools across Iowa over the last three years. Well, that ends this school year. And KCRG TV 9's Grace Vance reports that it's causing districts to budget differently for the coming school year. When Solon schools open for the new year, they'll be missing something that's been important for every student federal pandemic funding. We paid special attention to how we were spending those and making sure that we were spending them on one-time items, one-time purchases. We didn't want to invest in re a reoccurring cost knowing that someday they'd go away. Superintendent Davis Idol says the district received about $400,000 of pandemic aid in 2020. He says that money went towards technology for students, PPE, and mental health resources for students, staff, and their families. But in Solon and throughout Iowa, federal pandemic aid for schools comes to an end next month. Districts like Linmar had to lay off staff as pandemic funding ended. Staff in Solon are also feeling the pinch. It was a tough time for staff too, as far as the amount of work and the angst and, and kind of the unknown. And so, you know, we invested in a, a more robust and thorough employee assistance program. Idol says the district is still seeing the benefits of the programs they developed with the aid. Now, he says they're looking to keep funding the mental health resources they added during the pandemic with general fund dollars in their budget. It's adjustments Idol says every district must consider as budgets get tighter. It will be a challenge for districts that are in that situation and have to be creative ways to navigate through that. Another lesson of doing more with less, just as the school year is about to start. In Solon, Grace Vance, KCRG TV9 News.